In tonight's Health Watch, as we all know far too well, mosquitoes are not just a nuisance. They can also carry serious illness. Some people feel they're more prone to getting bit than others, but are they really? CBS 4's Susan Elizabeth Littlefield looks at the science behind mosquito bites. With all of the fun that summer entails, there's a nuisance too. Those pesky mosquitoes. Do you get a lot of mosquito bites? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What does it feel like? It itches a lot. But for others, they just don't seem to be on the mosquitoes' radar. Some people say they get eaten up. Where do you fall on that? My mom and I like garden a lot in our backyard, and like I'll see her come with like tons of mosquito bites, and I'm here like, oh, I have nothing. So why are some people more prone to bites than others? One thing that scientists have known for a long time is that mosquitoes are attracted to the odor of um, used gym socks. University of Minnesota entomologist Dr. John Oliver has the unexpected explanation. They're being attracted to that kind of mix of bacteria and fungus that causes foot odor. That's why mosquitoes often bite people on their feet and ankles. Dr. Oliver says mosquitoes can also be drawn to people for genetic reasons. Some people metabolize food in a certain way and emit a certain smell. So it may not be that you're unclean. It might be your particular odor attracts the bugs? Absolutely. So if you had two perfectly clean people next to each other who just had the same you know, bathing regimen, uh, one of them could definitely still be bitten more than the other. So it's not in our heads. Some of us are more prone. Yeah, it's absolutely the case. So be sure to protect yourself from those mosquitoes. Use repellent and wear long pants and sleeves. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, CBS News. Dr. Oliver says using scent-free shampoos, soaps, and lotions can also keep the mosquitoes away. Mm.